in from outside. They must be able to obtain a COVID-19 negative certificate, all right? But when they come here, who are not tourists, they must stay here. If they come to Nairobi, they stay in Nairobi. If they come to Nairobi and they want to go to Machako, they stay in Machakos. That is the position. Right? <coughs> Any other? So they cannot be allowed to come uh, to Nairobi and then they want to travel to Kiambu, Nakuru, then Eldoret. No. They can come to Nairobi, travel to Kiambu, travel to Kajiado, travel to um, Machakos, and back to Nairobi. That is okay. Yeah. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, we should be doing this very, very soon so that we can continue to have our people. Yes, there's another one, a last one. Maybe a burning one, is it? Yes. Uh, it is burning really, really ba bad? Yes, of course, sir. Okay. So Daniel Masita from TV47. Yeah, we have got, uh, it is about the curfew hours. They have been reversed to 8 p.m. You understand that uh, that means that we will have an overload of activities during daytime. It means that uh, by 8, uh, as you understand, for example, I hope there will be traffic, what of what of So it means that we will have a lot of people still stuck in the jam. How, what are you going to do about that? Then we have got emergency cases, of course, people. Someone can get sick at night. We need to help them to hospitals. What is the government doing to be able to deal with that? One? Because we don't want cases whereby people are being used by the police in the streets, maybe because of uh, happy hours are near. Uh, you know, curfew hours start from 8 for the zoned area. For the other areas, start at 10. For the zone area, by 8 p.m., you must be home. There is no two way about that. So wherever Jipange, there is no two way about this. And ladies and gentlemen, these things are meant to protect us. Not, 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 let's not find impediments on them. Let's find a way of how we can be able to get home by 8 o'clock. It is for our own good. Now, for anybody who may get unwell at night, and they will be, because that is the nature of life, people will get sick at night, and they have gotten sick at night before, even during, you know, when curfew in this zone area was still starting at 10. They were getting sick beyond 10 o'clock, and they were going to hospital, and they were being attended to. There is no difference between then and now. Sasawa. Okay. So thank you very much. We'll be able to do this again, and we'll be able to invite you. And uh, as I keep on saying, we are the government, and you are the fourth estate. We must consistently be working together, because our roles are more or less the same. We have got stakeholders. We have audiences that we must continue to inform. As government, we have the information, but we don't have the voice. You, members of the fourth estate, you have the voice, but you don't have the information. And therefore, you must consistently continue to nurture this symbiotic relationship between the government and the fourth estate. So for today, thank you so much, and then we meet you again.